In this tutorial, we are going to experiment drop down toggle. All right, from the element, I'm going to have a button link and we are going to give a class of button which it has. Okay, from data attribute, from the attribute, we're going to add uh, data toggle. All right, this value for a moment we will leave it blank, but will be the ID of our container. Now, let's we add our container into the canvas here. Oh, I have an issue with this jumping of elements. Select the container. First, uh, given a class of drop down pane, drop down pane mm, with unique ID. I give here my drop down, my drop down. All right, and as soon as we give this drop down pane in our container displays none is hidden here so we show the container here and remember we give to the id of this my drop down let's go add for our button the value for here my drop down oops All right, now we add the elements into the, this container. Let's see, we add heading, some text, and maybe button. In this container, you can add all kinds of things, such as pictures, such as videos, such as uh, login uh, form, or sign up form, or you want to get some info from true form of your users okay now let me test it out whether it works or not oops let's be aware we had the mistakes okay for this button we give a class button we give it that attribute my drop down correct and for the container oh we didn't set that up uh, attribute for this mm. should be data drop down toggle data drop down okay drop down the value leave it blank now we have it here then we have some additional classes for this container all right container if you want to by default it displays below of button down below here if you want to display in right Give a class of right. Try it out. It displays in the right side of the button. And another. Let's say if we spray in the top. should be displayed on top of button. Since we don't have a bigger space here, so it will not display all. Back to the default. So it should be working from the preview panel. Yep, back to the default. We have another option here 
if you don't want to have a click here we can do in a state hover okay in order to do the add hover states go to inspector panel select the container in design panel uh, in attribute add another attribute hover attribute data hover set the value true check it out now instead of click we have hover when our when we hover our mouse on our button we have displays the content our content will be displayed and off on on and off this is how we do drop down tackle thank you very much for watching hope it is useful in your projects